welcome back Capricorns. Hope everybody's doing good. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the vibe, if you like the energy, of course, feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, so let's see what's going popping with my Capricorns. All of a sudden, I'm getting sick. Yes, so I saw the clock go up. I don't even know. But let's see what's going on with Capricorn here. Ochoon. What is the overall energy for Capricorn? What is the overall energy for Capricorn or Chum? Seems like somebody's stuck. I'm really sick and I'm so old. Okay. Yeah, Chung is very fast. She's very fast. She leaves, you know, what she wants in the table and then she's out of here. This is why Ochoon works so fast. <clears throat> um, Capricorn, I'm seeing somebody here that, you know, I'm seeing you like coming out like the queen of, um, you're coming out like the queen of, um, Cups. The King of Swords. It's like you're holding back from some type of love that's coming your way. I feel like money is a more of a concern to you. But at the end of the day, it's like the Queen and the King of Wands are here. So there's two people here standing with self-confidence, self-insurance. Like two people that, you know, to me, when I see the, the Queen and the King of Wands, you know, people see it as a like uh, an energy that, I don't know, but there's a lot of fire, a lot of passion here, a lot of, like, you know, disagreeing, a lot of, like, you're right, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you're right. It's two people that I'm seeing here that, you know, are very confident about themselves, they're very sure about themselves, you know, um, I'm seeing two people here that are very, like, hungry for money, when I say hungry for money, like, they work for money. <clears throat> it could be you that I'm picking up and also your person or a new person that's coming in or anybody around you. You feel me? But I feel like I feel like Capricorn, you want to move to love. Like, you want to be open to that type of love that you want. But it's like something is holding you back. It's like you're ready to fire anybody that comes at you. Because I feel like you're doing yourself, but also you've been hurt a lot. You've been hurt a lot. You've been tampered with a lot. It's like you've been used a lot. It's like people come slowly into your energy and offer you love and it's bullshit. You feel me? So it's like an energy that I'm feeling like you don't trust anybody. It's like you're standing with this face like, you know, what the fuck do you want from me? You feel me? And then the other person that comes in, it's like they want to love you. But it's like also an energy that I'm feeling is like, what the fuck do you want? So I feel like there's two people here. They're not agreeing with each other, but they want each other, but they're, they're, you know, I feel like they think the same way for some reason. There's two people here that think the same way. Either you're with this person or not, or they slowly walked away, you slowly walked away, whatever's going on here. But somebody here is holding on very hard to their guard up, you know, because you're stabilizing yourself. You want stability. You want to be able to uh, have a person that you trust, that you could, that could be loyal to you. You feel me? A person that could give you that love that you've been searching for. And you're ready for love. Capricorn, I see it. You're ready for love. It's just that the trust issues here are very strong, you know. The, str the trust issues that you have going on here are very shut down. But I feel like somebody slowly is coming, coming into your energy and they're going to, they want to offer you something. But it's like bumping into a person that, and I understand because the way she's telling me, that's why I'm smiling, is like two people that don't trust. But I feel like a union will come together with two people that don't trust and it will make a powerful couple. A very powerful couple because I see you standing very strong in confidence. I see you knowing what you want. I see you like you're not gonna take no bullshit. I ain't taking no shit. You feel me? Don't fuck with me. Don't come and offer me nothing. No love. No nothing. Period. Like anything. No offers of any kind. And come here and fuck me up. You feel me? But then I see somebody here that you know at some point or the other did fuck you up. Did, you know, offer things and did, you know, hurt you in some type of way. 
you know, and this person, for some reason, like, didn't stop bothering you, didn't stop bothering you for a while until something slowly started diminishing. And I feel like two people here, for some reason, they didn't see eye to eye. It's like everything was over, but I see somebody else coming in here with that confidence that you have. You feel me? With that confidence because they've been there and done that. And they're also holding back because of trust issues. But somebody's coming in here to offer you something. But be careful, like I said, because there might be an ex here or might be somebody that's circling the area that you left behind that just wants to come in for the fuckery. You feel me? When the Knight of um, Cups here. But she's telling me there's two people here that are meant to be together, but they don't see eye to eye. But at the end, they do see eye to eye. So it might be a soulmate connection. It might be a twin flame. I feel like it's a twin flame connection that is brewing up here, you know, for, I don't know, but she's telling me, que ya. she's telling me it's time. So meaning when she tells me it's time and seeing the king of swords here, it's like the love that you want to give, the love that you want to receive, the love that you've been waiting for. It's like you've shut everybody down. It's like you don't trust anybody when it comes to love. It's like you're ready to like, you know, like, Say whatever comes out of your mouth when it comes to love, but I see like a twin may a twin may oh god, here we go. Mercury retrogrades around the corner, and here we go getting stuck. It's right here. Um I see like a twin flame connection here coming together slowly but surely. And let me see. What else here for Capricorns? Or Chum? Yeah, there was some um there was some truths I needed to come out here. And I feel like somebody here finally is going to come out with the truth of something with the moon card in reverse. A lot of secrets that needed to come out to the light. A lot of truths that needed to be told to move on, you know, to a, to a place where you need to move on to. So I feel like whoever here you're dealing with, whoever you were dealing with, whoever's going to come in, it's going to be truthful. They're going to be truthful to you. They're not going to hide secrets. You know, and there is secrets hidden here. If there is truths that you need to know about somebody here, they're going to come out. Somebody's going to come out and speak. I feel like it's time, like she said, it's time. In the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. It's about making money, you know, and stabilizing your life and doing yourself. And I feel like that's what you're doing, Capricorn. You know, slowly you're trying to enter that, you know, um, confidence about trusting again. Because I feel like somebody here is meant to be together, but I feel like there's a lot of truth that needs to come out. Communication, a lot of talking, a lot of like... You know, looking into each other's eyes and really talking the truth. And I feel like that's coming for the most part. I'm going to give it two months, maybe a little bit more. Let me just exaggerate a little bit, four to five months. But I feel like something is brewing up here for somebody that's coming from the past, to be honest with you. I'm not sugarcoating it. Somebody's coming from the past to give you some truth that you've been waiting for for a long time. And I feel like, you know, you're going to kind of like hesitate when you look at this person like, and they're going to kind of like look at you like, I feel like there's two people here that cannot connect, that cannot see eye to eye, that cannot really come in and really show what they want, but they slowly come in and like, you know, show the love, show the interest, whatever it is, a friendship, you know, a love, whatever it is. Show the interest and then slowly moves out. You feel me? But I feel like everything's coming together. You're doing a lot, a lot, Capricorn, with yourself when it comes to money, abundance, stability. You're sticking to that. I see it. You're sticking to a lot. So whatever you're doing right now, you're standing very firm. So you're being very blunt. You're not letting nobody um run all over you. Because I feel like Capricorns, somebody ran over you at some point when it comes to money. Or maybe like taking your money or tricking you for money or whatever it was, but you're standing strong and firm. It's like you know what the fuck is going on. It's like you're on point, but it's like you're just waiting for that moment to snap. So somebody here, I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but I'm smiling because that's the way I would do it. Like I would shut up, not say a word, watch you, observe you, and then boom. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a Capricorn is doing this here. It's like you're watching somebody that owes you money or tricked you for money or did something for money. And you're standing right there just like not saying one word until it's your time to come out and do what you got to do. You feel me? Because I feel like, you know, for some for some reason, some of you Capricorns are carrying a lot of burdens. You feel me? It's like you're overly tired, over exhausted. It's like you're tired. Some of you Capricorns don't even want love. You don't want to talk about love. You don't want love. You know, you're standing very direct and firm about that. You're not seeing eye to eye with anybody. But I feel like it's more internal work that you need to do with your self-love and your healing. Because I feel like, look at this. 
healing, resting, your energy. This is what Cap is. Some Capricorns I'm feeling right now, you know, are doing like you need to work with your self love and know that you're worth to be loved. But I feel like somebody hurt you so bad here at some point that it's like you don't want to think about love for some Capricorns here because I'm picking up like three energies that just came in, boom, out of nowhere. Like, I feel like, you know, you need to work on your self love and, you know, anymore. I was going to say, I'm sorry. Retrograde is here and it's fucking everybody up. I feel like you need to work. On your self-love and I feel like whoever here <clears throat> you know is working on anything it's mostly like resting you know resting your energy resting everything you know that comes with any type of thoughts you feel me because I see a lot of thinking here I see somebody very concerned here about something that might you know you need the truth about something which is something else that I'm picking up here the truth is coming out let me see what else are chewing for my Capricorn no, no, it doesn't mean here. Yeah, it's so true. She wants me to say that loudly and clearly. Yeah, you know, Capricorn, I feel like somebody here that you possibly had an interest in or you possibly thought that they were going to wait for you forever, you know, they decided not to wait anymore. They decided to just walk away and take their truths with them, take everything with them, take everything they wanted to tell you with them and just keep on moving. So if somebody here, you know, had a fallout or you had some type of thing going on with somebody here that you wanted them to speak or you wanted them to tell you something, this for some other energies that I'm picking up, about any type of situation that comes to like opening up their feelings or whatever it is, I feel like this person got tired of waiting. I feel like their truths, their things, their secrets that they held inside, what they wanted to tell you, anything that has to do with, you know, being with you or loving you or opening up friendship, whatever it is, they took it with them. They, they walked away. I feel like this person stopped waiting. Or you stopped waiting for somebody here and walked away with your truths and you don't want to communicate. It's like you're standing very firmly, you know, in that don't fuck with me. I will I will turn on you in three seconds. Somebody hurt you here really bad, Capricorns. And I feel like you're holding this against a lot of people. I feel like somebody here caused a lot of drama for you, a lot of fighting, you know, with the five of wands here. It's like, you know, a, a person here that was not genuine to you, a person that, you know, when you try to fix things, when it came to your relationship, whatever it was, it was like a person that for any reason, okay, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you taking so long? You know what I'm doing. Okay, no, I don't care. Why are you taking so long? It's like a person that was on you 24-7, even when you had to say, look, I'm working. Or whatever it was that you were doing, leave me alone. Let me do what I do. This person wouldn't stop. And it's like, I feel like some of you Capricorns have been single for a very long time. A lot of you. And it's like, you're trying to open up to love. But it's like something, your guard is very up. It's like, you're you're more about making money and doing yourself right now than anything. But I see two twin friend connections here. Hold on a minute. What else are you The devil. Capricorn, that's your card. You know, I feel like temptation, a lot of temptation has come in here. When it comes to options and things happening around you, whoever here you were dealing with, you know, might have been a person that was dealing with a lot of people, a person that was dating, a person that you might have like, you know, when you were working or doing your things or being busy or whatever the fuck it was, this person was juggling around with everybody. It was a person you couldn't trust. It was a person you had to question all the time. What are you doing? You feel me? Oh, you were there? Okay, you know what? Stay quiet. Why for some reason significant here? Why in Jade? And um, A, I don't know why she's telling me that, but it could be significant. It could be, I don't know. I was going to say something, but I'm going to say quiet. Um, Because it's not really, it doesn't really make a, a difference. But, you know, it's like a person that was juggling a lot. A person that took you for granted. A person that didn't see 
what was your worth this person was a snake to begin with whoever you were dealing with here even if it's a year ago two years ago three years ago four years ago five years ago a person that you still think about and you're trying to understand why they walked away why you had to let them go why they couldn't come out with the truth why they hold so many secrets why they were juggling why they did this to you this person was from the beginning toxic they did it to you before and i feel like she's telling me they did it to you again so I feel like you might have given this person a second chance or a third chance or whatever it was to come in. And you were not expecting a real, real, like, love to come in. You were trying to give this person an opportunity to come in and try to see if it work out. It didn't work out. You were not seeing eye to eye with this person. This person was cheating the whole time and will always be cheating. Very dark energy. I feel like some Capricorns here have issues with drinking, you know, with substances. I'm not going to judge you on that because, you know, everybody goes and I want to see no judging around here with anyone that judges anyone on my channel, you will be blocked. But I feel like you're working on yourself. I feel like you've healed. I feel like you're letting that go. I feel like you're walking away from all that. You might drink sometimes. You might, you know, smoke a little weed here and there. You know, do your things. I'm not going to say it on YouTube. But I feel like you're walking away from that. It's like, you know, walking away from a lot of temptation. But at the same time, you know, people when they see the double card, they think it's bad. And it's not a bad card. It's, it's actually, you know, a good card. You feel me? You know, when you go into temptation, you go into all these temptations that they say it's the devil, which is not. It's not the devil. We have choices. You know, we make our choices. You know, because if that was the case, then God would be the devil. I'm not going to get into that as a whole big story here because he gave us choices to do bad and wrong, right? Okay, the devil gives you choices to do bad and wrong. So then who's bad? Who's wrong and, and good here? The God or the devil? You feel me? But that's a whole other subject that I would love to get into, the teachings, and love to give my input in there because it's the people don't understand how this works. But, you know, temptation comes in for a reason. You feel me? Just like you, you're given the choice in your life to choose bad or wrong from God, right? And then the devil comes in with temptation to do bad and wrong, right? Okay, either way, however you put it, they're both doing the same thing. So I feel like, you know, the temptations that you've had before... You know, you've walked away from it. It's like you've walked away from it because you discovered a lot of hidden things, a lot of truths about yourself, a lot of things you had to discover with yourself to move forward. It was not helping you. It was hurting you. You feel me? And whoever you were dealing with here was not making it any easier because they would love to party here with you or somebody loved to party here a lot. It was like, you know, a person that instead of helping you, We'll do it with you. And that's okay. There's couples that party together. Who the fuck gives a fuck? We're all adults here. But this person intentionally wanted to see you go down. But there is a snake around you. Capricorns, for some of you Capricorns, there is a snake around you. Be very careful when it comes to any type of, like, object they give you. Or, like, any type of gift they give you. Because I feel like they're going to come with some fuckery to you. To try to, like, lure you in. Possibly with witchcraft. Because I see an item in my mind that is, given to, is being given to somebody. I don't know. It could be round. It could have, like, um, some sort of, like, it looks like, a, oh, my God, it looks like a bird at the same time with a lizard. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But be careful with that because it's not looking right to me. But for the most part, Capricorn, you're doing yourself. You're doing your money. You're focusing on what you're supposed to be focusing on. I feel like you're doing good. I feel like, you know, you're learning to open up a little bit, but I feel like somebody here fucked you up so bad in the past that it's like it's hard to trust again. But I feel like somebody here that you potentially wanted and you potentially, I don't know why I keep on saying potentially, but there must be a guy last week from now that said that word a lot when they were alive because I never said that word before. So whoever it is, love and light. And progress because they keep on wanting me to say potentially but there's a person out here that you know you either wanted to say some truths and some secrets that you had or potentially you see what I'm saying like there's 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 a there's someone I don't know who it is I'm gonna ask today because they keep on saying that word um that might be a sign that I need to go and ask but there's somebody here that you wanted some truth from or you wanted to give some clarity to but somebody here walked away from that. And it's ignoring that. Temptation might be a, a problem in here when it comes to, like, making decisions here. Okay? I feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, people surrounding you that are, you know, trying to stop your thinking. You feel me? And I feel like whoever you were dealing with here, they have people around them that 
you know, they don't want their happiness. They don't want them to succeed. Don't don't get caught up in no uh, type of energy like that. Because at the end of the day, whoever came here into your life that you wanted to have some type of commitment, some tight commitment with, in the past, past, you wanted to marry somebody here. Somebody wants to engage here. This person, you gave them too many tries and they fucked up. And you just like, you're walking away or you walked away. It's like, you don't even care anymore. Let me see, Ochoon. What is coming towards Capricorn here? Yeah, Capricorn. You're moving forward. Let me see. What else, Ochoon? It came out of the fence. It's like you're tired of the drama. Like, if this person comes back with the drama, it doesn't matter because you're still moving forward. You're, you're moving forward. You're seeing this person like a fool. Like, you know what? I'm not about the drama. I'm not about the fighting. You know, I mind my own business. And you're coming in here with the drama, with the fighting, you know, with the screaming. That's not what I'm about is what I'm hearing. And it's like you're moving forward. With the fool card here, you're moving forward. So whatever you're doing, keep on going. Money, business, whatever it is. If you want to move to somebody else, you know, the doors are open for you. They're waiting for you. You can potentially. I need to ask today who this past loved one and that keeps on saying potentially. If anybody knows out there, I don't know why I'm saying it here in Capricorn because I haven't said it nowhere else. I think I said it on one video and I can't remember who used to say potentially a lot that could help. But I'm going to ask my ancestor. But somebody here. You know, it's moving forward and the door's going to be open for you. And I feel like, you know, you might be moving into a direction where you might meet somebody or somebody that, you know, you might just end up in a very long commitment with. But there's a lot of issues here with temptation, a lot of addictions here going on with a certain person that was around you that caused you a lot of pain and sorrow that caused you to cry that caused you to cause walk away many times and you came back to try to fix it it's like a person that is very evil hold on a minute what else Ochoon? yeah i mean somebody here capricorns i feel like somebody here you know wants to come into your energy with some type of loyalty it's like they sit down and wait for you. Or somebody here has been waiting for for a long time. Somebody's coming here very loyal to you. You feel me? They might try, be trying to help you in some type of way. And stand up for you in some type of way. Because they know what you're going through or you've been through. So don't, don't shut everybody down and let somebody come in. Because I feel like you're going to have a lot of options from here on. But there's somebody here that wants to help you. And they could bring a lot of loyalty to you and could stand up for you and help you whatever you're going through here. Because I feel like they know what you've been through. It might be a friend. It might be somebody you know. It might be an ex. It might be somebody you never kicked it off with. Whoever it is. But they know the struggles you've been through. They know the fightings you've been through. They know what you've been through in your whole life. You feel me? And it's like they know you want to jump over and be happy. But it's like it's difficult for you with all the shit that's been going on in your life. You feel me? Not. Nah. Only with this, but I feel like in your whole life, but you're ready for love. You had a lot you have a lot of love to give Capricorn inside of you. But you gotta see the inside of you, you feel me? You gotta know how to love yourself more because I feel like you down yourself. Even with all this confidence you have, it's like inside of you is like why? You know, why do I have to be loved? You feel me? Like why? If I fucked up before, it doesn't matter if you fucked up before. I've fucked up. You know, I'm sure that the whole collective has fucked up. Everybody has fucked up. You feel me? So I need, you know, whatever Capricorn is thinking like that to stop thinking like that because everybody has fucked up. You feel me? You're here for a purpose. You could be dealing here with a Cancer Scorpio. Um, yeah, I just got black there. Cancer Scorpio. Pisces. A Libra. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, a lot of water here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, um, Aries, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Leo, like there's a lot of water here and fire. Let me see what else is here, oh, true for Capricorn. I want to see what's moving forward. You got to be careful with the police for some reason. 
yeah, like, okay, listen, you know, I feel like whoever here is having an issue with your partner and you want this person back or somebody here wants to give you loyalty, somebody here wants to come out with the truth or you want to come out with the truth, whatever the case may be, take it how it hits you. I feel like you need to sit down and have a conversation because I feel like, you know, things have to be talked out with. You feel me? Things have to be communicated. Things have to be, you know, equally spoken. You feel me? If you want to fix anything, it has to, you have to sit down with this person. Okay, whoever it is. And I feel like, you know, there's people in your neighborhood, there's people surrounding you, there's people, you know, anywhere you go that are, you know, they're acting like they're your friends. In your own community, in your own neighborhood, you feel me? They're acting like they're your friends. They smile with you, they, you know, they, they vibe with you, they drink with you, they chill with you, they say hi in the mornings, whatever it is. But I feel like there's a main female here that possibly could be calling the police on you. For some reason or the other. It could just happen out of nowhere. You feel me? So be careful with your neighbors. Be careful in your community. Be careful if you live in a place where there's... um, <clears throat> What do you call that? Um, associations and things like that. You know, if you live in a house, it doesn't matter. Be careful with your surroundings. Because I feel like there's somebody in the house that they like to be nice with you. They like to share with you. They like to say hi, whatever the fuck it is. But they like to call police. And it's a very fake person that you're dealing with here. It could be even a person that's passing around your neighborhood. An ex that is fucking fake as fuck. And because you walked away or whatever the case was, you don't want to be with this person. They might end up calling, you know, the police on you. You feel me? Let me see something. Give me one more on that one. Watch on. <clears throat> on this spread, where the police is standing. Jesus Christ. Can't stand police. Yeah. Money could be issues here with somebody. So be careful with who you're dealing with because sudden wealth is coming in. Or sudden wealth belongs to you. Something belongs to you here. Something belongs to you here. That is for you. And I feel like there's going to be an argument here about money. There's a woman involved. It could be an ex of yours. It could be a person involved. It could be the wife of somebody here. But there's money involved here. And there could be a fight over money. And the police can get called. Because I feel like you deserve. Or somebody owes you money. You feel me? And that money's not coming in. It's supposed to be coming in. It was supposed to be yours. You feel me? Whatever it is that's going on here, you might get the police called on. Or the police might come out. For some reason, because a woman's going to call the police here. Because somebody owes you money. Yeah, somebody's very concerned here about their money. So, let me see. Hold on a minute. Let me just throw one down. Oh, Trim, give me only one here. It says, pretending to be loyal. Wow. She gave me two. Pretending to be loyal while stabbing you in the back. Pushed you away so they fold it. Here it is. I cannot make this shit up. My favorite phone with you all day long. They fold it on you. So whoever here owes you money, whoever here you were doing business with, whoever here has, you know, whatever you're doing with somebody that has to do with money, whatever the fuck it is that belongs to you, they fold it on you. You know, you push this person away. It doesn't matter if it's a, a person that you were romantically involved with, a friend, you know, a person you're dealing with with money, but they folded on you. They took something from you. Something is owed to you. You know, they were pretending, you know, to love you. It doesn't matter. It could be a, a sister, a brother, you know, a friend. It, could, it doesn't matter. It could be a person that you were dealing with, an ex. They were, they were stabbing you in the back the whole time, and you pushed them away, or you found out, or something here you told them, and they folded on your ass. So be careful that they don't call police on you, because I see police coming to somebody's door. I may be confused if I'm truly ready how to express my love, but I know that I want you. So yeah, somebody here is holding back their true feelings, and they don't know how to express their love. So whoever here, you know, needs to... Uh, Talk about some truths. Have to needs to sit down with a person and has some courtship going on here. Talking whatever it is. I feel like somebody here is confused. They're not ready. They don't know how to express themselves. It's like they know they want you or you want them. It take it how it hits you, but it's like it's hard to open up for some reason. You know, but that somebody's waiting for you. Somebody that's very loyal is waiting for you. Let me see. Is there a message here for Capricorn? There it is. It says trust. 
this situation is calling for you to have faith. So whatever it is, whoever it is that you want, have faith. Don't lose your trust. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose yourself in your thoughts. You feel me? Have faith that everything's going to work out and trust that the situation is going to get worked out. Whatever's, whatever's calling here for you. Whatever, whatever it is that you want here. Whatever it is that temptation is holding you back. Or whatever from the past is holding you back to move forward. Trust is going to have. It's going to happen for you. It's going to be good. Okay? Keep an open mind, okay? Just keep an open mind is what she's saying. It's going to be first, middle, last, initial for you. This person, what are you thinking about? It doesn't matter. Even nicknames, okay? So let me see. My favorite phone with you. Okay, you got an N here, which could also be a U. Money, money. Look at this. H-I-H-I, -I, right on the citrine um, crystal that I have. There's for money. H-I. H-I. So, I don't know. Maybe money's going to, um, I don't know where. I don't know where coming to somebody with these initials. It doesn't have to be, but that's how I'm picking it up. Another H-I. You got a straight M. You got a T here. You got an E. You got an N, which could also be a Z. This could be for anybody's first, middle, last initial or nickname. You could have an R, which is also an A. You have another T. And that's double T's. You got an F. You got a P. You got another E, so double E's. Okay, so let's flip. You got three IHs, so I'm gonna flip these two. Let's see what I can get you. You got a V, <clears throat> my bad. And you got an R. Okay, so M, you got two T's. Let me flip this T, and you got two E's. I'm gonna flip this T and this E. Let's see what I can get you. You got a D. And you got an L. Okay. So Capricorns, keep on moving. Keep an open mind. Don't shut yourselves down. You know, whoever this is, man, you got to be careful because police could be calling you for no fucking reason because, you know, they owe you money. I know what's, I know what's brewing up in there, but I just don't want to say it here on YouTube because it would be like, I just don't want to say it, okay? So I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all, and I'll see you later, my loves.